So within this topic, I want to explain you the basic concepts and the fundamentals about electricity, about voltage, current, and also of electrical power. I am going to do that not by using formulas and a lot of terms, but I'm going to explain you the basic concepts. I'm going to explain you what I think you need to know, what you need to comprehend uh, with a visual and a graphic explanation. I find that often in order to really understand electricity and how voltage, current and power relate to each other, I find it the easiest to explain and to understand and to record this in your brain by uh, giving a bit of a, a visual explanation. So let me just dive into the topic and then you'll see what I mean. So first of all, uh, voltage, you can compare voltage with pressure. You can imagine that voltage is the electrical equivalent of, of water pressure, of any kind of pressure, right? So voltage is electrical pressure. Amperage, you can imagine that amperage is a certain amount of flow of electricity. It is the electrical equivalent of a flow, of a volume uh, flow of water or something like that, right? So voltage is electrical pressure, amperage is electrical flow. So let's go to a whiteboard and let me show you the visual way in which I want to explain uh, the relationship between voltage, amperage and power. So let's imagine that we have a small water tower, a wooden reservoir with water that's placed on a slight elevation. And then for the example, we have uh, John and John is trying to grow rich fast and easy and he wants to water his, his money tree, right? So what he does is he connects a water hose to his water tank and before he starts to water the, the, the money tree, he already has a certain pressure in the hose, right? Before he opens the hose, there is a pressure in the hose as a result of the, the elevation of the water tower. So now you can compare the pressure in the water hose with electrical pressure. So you can compare the pressure in the water hose with voltage. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go ahead again. And now John is opening the, the garden hose and the water starts to flow out towards the plant. And there is water coming out, so that's good. But he's not happy with the amount of water flowing out. So what he does, he increases the size of the hose. And as a result of increasing the hose diameter, there's more water flowing out. And John is all happy and he's watering his money tree. So with this example, I want to explain the concept of the electrical current of amperage, right? Because you can compare the current with the flow of water coming out. And what you can also see here, what you can also understand is that the, that there's a relationship between the current and the size of the hose. So your wire gauge, right? The bigger your wire gauge, the bigger your wire size, um, you can expect more amperage to flow through your electrical circuit. But now let's spice up the exercise a little bit. And let's see how we can even further boost the amount of water coming out of the hose. So what John does, he says, okay, what about if I reduce the size of the hose to the original size again, but I would raise the water tank. I would raise the water tank quite a bit higher above ground level. Uh, well, he, he does that and he opens the water hose and a decent amount of water comes out. But it's still somewhat similar to the, the last situation that we had when the tank was low and when the hose was at a large diameter, which is to be expected, right? So now what he does is that he still has the tank relatively high elevated above ground level, but now he increases the hose diameter and all of a sudden you get this massive amount of water coming out and he's overdoing it a little bit, but at least he's getting a, a lot of water out of the hose. So of course, this is a very simple explanation and you're probably saying, yeah, I get it, Jesse. But by this example, I think it's easy to lock in your brain what voltage is, what current is, and also what the relationship between the two of them is because power is the result of both voltage and current. Power is the, the final product. It is the effective work that you're getting from your electricity, so from both the voltage and the current. So power is the result of voltage times current. That's how you calculate it. You multiply your voltage times your current and then you get the power in watts or kilowatts, whatever you're doing. 
but at least you understand the relationship between the three of them, right? So you also understand that if you would increase the voltage, if you would increase the electrical pressure, if you would increase the, the height, the elevation of your water tank, then your effective work, so your power goes up, right? You increase only the voltage, then your power will go up directly. You don't have to change the current yet. If you would increase the voltage to electrical pressure, then your effective work, so your power, goes up. Alternatively, if you would, for example, reduce the current, if you would reduce the, the size of your hose and there's less water flowing through, then you'd also reduce the effective work, so the effective electrical power output of your system. And then if you would change both the voltage and the current at the same time, then it depends what happens, right? So let's assume your voltage goes down, your current goes up. Um, the power output will also change, but it depends on whether it goes up and down on how much you've changed the voltage or the current. That makes sense, right? So just remember, power equals voltage times current. And the units that we normally use to express voltage, current, and power, for voltage we use the V from volts, for current we use the A from amperage, and for power we use the W from watts. So remember, power equals voltage times current.